All right, this is number 11 on the Algebra 2 practice test. It says, what is one solution to 3x squared plus 4x plus 8 equals 0? So the first thing I notice is that it says one solution. So when I enter my answer, when I solve for quadratics, you know that you can get two, one, or zero solutions or two imaginary solutions. All right, so the first thing I need to do is say, okay, um, I'm going to use quadratic formula to solve this. And you have to know the quadratic formula because it's not on your formula sheet. So remember negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. All right, so that means we got to know what our a, b, and c are. So a equals 3, b is 4, and c is 8 in this case. So all I have to do is plug in my a, b, and c. So I'm going to take my formula and I'm going to do negative b, so negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c over 2 times a. All right, and then I'm just going to simplify, always simplify underneath the radical first. So I'm going to do, um, I've got a negative 4 times 3 times 8. When I multiply that, I get negative 96. So I'm still going to have the 16, and I've got these three multiplied together gives me negative 96. And then 2 times 3 is 6. And again, I'm still just simplifying. So negative 4 plus or minus. Now I'm going to do 16 minus 96, and that gives me the square root of negative 80. All right, so negative 4 plus or minus. I'm going to simplify 80. I need a perfect square because when I have a square root, if I have a perfect square, it comes out. All right, 80 is not a perfect square. But I know that 16 is, and 16 times 5 is 80. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative 16 times 5. And then finally, I'm going to pull out the negative 16. Remember, when it's negative, you get an i because it's an imaginary number. So the square root of 16 is 4. The negative makes it i square root of 5 over 6. All right, so that is our answer. And the only thing we need to do is look at these numbers and see that they have multiple of 2, so they can be reduced. So if I reduce that, I'm going to have x equals negative 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 5 over 3. And all I did was divide each of those terms by 2 just to reduce it. So this is an equivalent expression to this. All right, it says what is one solution? All right, so the plus minus here makes it two solutions. So you can put negative 2 plus 2i square root of 5 over 3 or negative 2 minus 2i square root of 5 over 3. So you don't have to put both of those. When it says one solution, they just want one or the other.